What's going on guys, Dudley here and welcome to another episode of the winning formula. Now as you saw real quickly on the screen, we're going into a cup match. And the reason for that is because we're running out of contracts on both of our teams and I figured why not go for the gold when we have two very good teams. So that's exactly what I decided to do and I actually played the first match with the BPL team in hopes that I'd come up against a pretty easy opponent and that the lack of my ability to use this team wasn't going to be too much of a factor and I suppose I got somewhat lucky and somewhat not. This team is actually really good except for the fact that he decided he was going to use Cesc Fabregas in the midfield and that probably didn't cost him too much in reality so uh, whether whether that made it a little bit easier for me or not doesn't matter. I ended up scoring in the 45th minute with Fernando Torres. Not long after that I get another cross and look at that bicycle kick from Fernando Torres getting a, a second goal in the match. And like I said, Fernando Torres has been an absolute monster for this team. He's honestly the only standout player, and I feel like not telling you to use him would be really wrong advice. So if you're looking for a nice striker, preferably one cheap and maybe the one that you could even make a little bit of profit on after you use him, definitely pick up Fernando Torres. He's not a speedy demon. He's not going to get to really long balls. He's not going to outrun too many defenders. He does run faster than the average defender, though. But like I said, nothing too spectacular in terms of pace, but his finishing, his heading, and his ability to just be in the right position is really good, so definitely recommend him. Now the next team that we come up against is this French League team, and we're now actually using the, uh, the, the Serie A team. And funnily enough, I saw this team and I didn't think too much of it, but he quickly made me change my mind about that because he scores very early on in the game with Payet, and Payet, player we've used for, a player that I've already recommended to you guys, amazing little player. However, we're able to come back quickly from a little bit of chaos around the box, pass it off to Vucinic, Vucinic puts it away, or Honda puts it away for the win and uh, gets us 1-1. Not long after that, we get a sick pass, once again, put it away. A little bit of bouncing around, it happens, especially when it's Caceres taking your shots. That's my center back. Why he made that run, I don't know. I just passed to him. He was in the best position. He took the shot. However, not long after that, Menez was actually able to get a goal for our man to make it 2-2. And then from a corner, we took the lead once again. Now, this game was probably one of those games where everything was just going in for both of us. It was a very even game. I felt like maybe I should have defended better, and this... The fact that I conceded two goals is no reflection on the team whatsoever. Like I said in my previous episodes, this formation is amazing. I really like it. You guys should definitely try it out. And the team overall is really good. There's not one player that I dislike in the entire team. I kind of wish Tarapt got involved more a little bit because of those five-star skills. But overall, he's a very good player. The next match that we go into is the third match of the cup, and we actually win that 1-0. That's actually how it ends. We score a header from a corner, and that's that. That's it. We couldn't do much more. Our opponent couldn't do anything either. And then we go into a single match. So right now, we're no longer in the cup. This is a single match, and we come up against this team. Now, I didn't think much of this team. I thought, okay, he has a team of the season, but overall, it's a very strange-looking team. It does have full chemistry. Or, or almost full chemistry, but yeah, I didn't think much of it, and boy, was that a stupid decision. Right there, I pulled out my keeper, maybe I shouldn't have, but he passes it off to Diego Capel, and he gets a goal for the, for him. Not long after that, I completely mess up this defending. He gets past me once again, absolutely horrid defending for me. Like I know I said this team is bad, but my defending was way worse than the team, and we go 2-0 down. And not long after that, we actually get outskilled here. A little bit of skill moves to get past all of my defenders. Gets another goal to make it 3-0. And at this point, I'm like, what the hell is going on? Why do I continue to suffer goals to this guy? And once again, a nice little chip gets him 4-0 up. And I'm like, okay, I'm, I, I'm done. There's nothing else I can do. However, we did continue to push. And uh, we get a goal. We, we get one goal back. To kind of say, hey, we're not completely out of this. And Jack Wilshire gets us a goal. Not long after that, we are actually able to get ourselves a second goal. And this time, it's again a breakaway. We're able to get the shot off. And boom, another bounce. And uh, I, I believe Podolski's there to pick up the pieces and get us a second goal. However, that's how it ends. We can't get more goals. Uh, we, we were actually absolutely embarrassed in that match. My defending was just horrible the good thing is that's the last game we'll ever play with this bpl team so i will no longer have any trouble with it 
but it's still an annoying thing to it's still an annoying thing to concede. I can't believe I actually lost that match because I don't want any losses on this record. Although it does tell us one thing, and that's that we haven't found the perfect team. Now the next team that we come up against is now in the cup. We're back in the cup, and we're using the Serie A team. And look at this wonderful team that we come up against. Team of the season: Griezmann, Neymar. Uh, I forgot whose right wing was. I think it was Di Maria. But we actually opened up the scoring with Vucinic. Really nice goal from a corner to get us one nil up not long after that we get yet another goal with Vucinic once again making those perfectly timed runs getting us a second goal we do concede one goal to our man but you know it was a, it was a great run it was a great pass and you know he was always going to finish from that position there was nothing I could do and once again that doesn't really reflect this team that was kind of a mistake on my part not long after that yet another goal nice little bit of dribbling we get past the defender we take a finesse shot goes off the post and in and I felt like that this team was just clicking he he probably had the better team I feel like but every shot that I kept taking every pass it was just very fluid essentially the way this team looks and feels is what is the way that they were performing and that's gonna be the end we actually get the victory we get our we get our 2000 coins we get our free gold pack and i want to show it to you guys real quick we get nothing that's why i speed it up and then we list start listing the players from this squad so overall this both squads uh, you know they consisted of gold rare players they had players that were definitely outstanding vucinich and honda for the city A team and it it was really only fernando torres for the bpl team those were the best players. Um, overall, great team. The Serie A team, BPL team, horrible. I'm definitely going to use this both formations again. But anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys did, let me know in the comments below. And as always, have a great day or night, depending on when you're watching this. Peace.